All right, so today I'm just going to give you my basic quality settings. All right, we'll start off in Pinnacle. Just take your normal clip. Uh, if you want to know what they're recording, these are my settings. Over here, just have everything in the middle. Except for your sharpness, have that about, I don't know, between maybe the third and fourth one from the bottom. Just whatever you prefer. You can turn your saturation up if you like saturation, but it's basically your choice. All right, anyway, go into your settings, MPEG 1 half, high quality DVD, capture source, whatever you have, DVC 170, 100, I don't know, NTSC 16 by 9, unchecked capture preview, and no auto scene detection. I like to do that because I don't have a bunch of scenes because I don't really edit in Pinnacle anyway, let alone even render. Alright. Oh, also, when you're in your pro go to your project preferences, change the format to NTSC progressive widescreen. Just gives it a better look and better quality. And that's about it. And then once you record it, go to the edit tab and then just take this right click it click on clip properties go to the second to the last one it'll say scale right here change this to full screen and then if you have that little green line down at the bottom here just pull this down a little bit pull this up a little bit to even it out and then to get rid of your black lines just click and drag past there that with the other side too and then if you want like the widescreen effect go to crop and then just bring your thing down a little bit and then you'll get a little black bar up there and do the same thing right here and then when you're gonna render it go into make movie make sure it's on MPEG 4 your preset change it to custom then go to settings all of this stuff can stay the same. Change the resolution to custom. Change width to 1000. Now, when you do that, it's automatic. See, it's automatically going to change it to 1008. But it'll so it's basically 1008 by 480. And then hit OK. And then you just hit Create File. I'm not going to do that because that'll just take more time. All right, now Vegas. You have your clip whatever you I don't know however you rendered it right click it switches maintain aspect ratio or you can do what other people do go to properties and then uncheck it from there but I just think it's quicker if you just go to switches alright anyway if you have like the black bars once again just take it you're gonna wanna move these into the side a little bit and then move this up until you get it back to full screen or whatever and then you can go to file render as alright make sure it's on Windows Media Video V9 and then change your uh, template for the start at 3 Mbps video and then go to custom change the video rendering quality to best you don't need to mess with the audio it's fine you can go to video all this stuff stays the same right here but your image size is custom 1000 and then that should automatically be 480 your seconds per keyframe is 5 check override default compression buffer change that to 8 your video smoothness 90 and then just go up here and name it whatever you want we'll just put quality test for Camtasia and then save it and then you can just start rendering your video. Um, any questions, feel free to leave a comment or message.